Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Arnel, and welcome to our second episode of Basic Accounting Series. First of all, I would like to thank you for appreciating my first uh, video. Uh, uh, first episode basic account, uh, in Basic Accounting Series, uh, Debit and Credit. If you're new here in my channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, be updated with my upcoming videos. Now, what is accounting equation? Accounting equation represents the relationship of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. So, the equation is uh, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Meaning, if you have 1 million in assets, you should have combined 1 million of liabilities and owner's equity. The, uh, this equation should always be balanced. If you remember in our first episode, assets are normally on the debit side, while uh, liabilities and owner's equities are on the credit sides. Assets are the things that the company own. Some examples of assets are cash, uh, maybe you have cash in bank, maybe you have cash on hand or petty cash fund. Also, you have uh, accounts receivable. Uh, accounts receivables, usually this is uh, collectibles to your uh, customers. Also, we have supplies. Maybe you have office supplies. Maybe you have, uh, uh, if you are in a uh, restaurant, maybe you have uh, restaurant supplies and you have uh, janitorial supplies. So many things uh, you buy in advance and you stock for a while and for consumption for the next one month or two months. Uh, also equipment, maybe you have uh, computers in your office. Maybe you have, if you are in the production, uh, usually you have uh, big equipments there. And uh, it depends on your business. If you are in the agribusiness, maybe you have farm equipment. Also intangibles. Like you have uh, copyrights, you have trademark, you have uh, goodwill, and uh, you have uh, uh, software. Also, we have prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses are the expenses that uh, you already paid but not yet incurred. What I mean is, uh, like for example, uh, if you have, uh, if you are renting to to uh, a mall and uh, the mall uh, management requires, require you to pay um, rent uh, for, um, for the next 12 months. So uh, you paid in advance, so you have to record as assets and monthly you have to recognize the expenses. So assets are depends on the line of your business. Like for example, if you are in the service business, some manufacturing uh, equipments might not be available with you. And uh, some of your equipment might uh, not be available also in the case of manufacturing. Now, what are the liabilities? Liabilities are uh, the things that the company owe. Example, accounts payable. Accounts payable are those purchases on accounts. Usually, your supplier give you 30 days, 15 days. Another example is notes payable. By the way, accounts payable is usually short term and notes payable is usually long term. Maybe you agreed to your uh, supplier to pay uh, 2 years, 3 years, 4 years. Depends on the agreement and it should be in the staggered basis or one time uh, payment after the 5 years. Another example is uh, salaries payable. Uh, it happens sometimes because you are preparing your financial statement, uh, let's say at the end of the month, but you are paying your salary on the 10th day of the following month. So on that cutoff, you have to recognize your liability. Another example is accrued expenses. Accrued expenses are those expenses already incurred but not yet paid. Uh, there are some uh, liability that uh, we might not uh, cited today but uh, in the uh, in the future videos we will discuss in detail and what is equity equity is actually the company's net worth meaning this is the residual uh, amount after deducting uh, liabilities from your assets equities are comprises of your uh, investment maybe uh, you have initial investment and uh, less withdrawal you made to the company and plus revenue and less expenses and 
what are the revenues? We have uh, service revenue, we have commission revenue, we have uh, interest revenue, we have uh, sales, and we have rentals, etc. etc. Uh, it depends on your line of business. And of course, to generate some income, you have to spend some money to support your uh, revenue. That is what we call the expenses. Let's say, what are the expenses? Well, we have indirect expense if you borrow some money from your from the bank and you're pay, paying uh, interest. You have employee also, you have to pay salary. So we, we have salary expenses and we have some utilities. And uh, utilities like, for example, electricity, water, telephone, uh, internet and so many expenses uh, depends on how you operate your business and depends also on the nature of your business just make it sure that the expenses are purely related to your business you can rearrange the equation based on the missing data if you are a student like for example our uh, uh, equation is normally Asset equals liability plus owner's equity. What is liability is missing in the problem. So you have to uh, rewrite uh, liability is equals to assets less owner's equity. Then you will get liability. Like for example, the, the in the equation or the uh, problem solving, the owner's equity is missing. So you have to uh, rewrite the equation. Owner's equity equals... Um, let's say assets less liability that is depends on the uh, problem you have like for example in the examination uh, assets is missing so you have to write like this asset equals liability plus owner's equity if you are a student and uh, usually we are using some acronyms or uh, some abbreviation just to remember easily the equation or the uh, formula so in this case we will use ALOR A L O R E assets liabilities owner equity revenue and expenses just remember the first and the last the first and the last are uh, on the debit side meaning asset expense and expenses if you record on the debit side it will increase the balances the, at the same time in the credit side if you uh, credit the liabilities, owner's equity, and revenue, you are uh, increasing their balances as well. So that is the relationship of our debit and credit. If you remember in our first episode, we use and we explain the debit and credit uh, uh, functions or uh, concept. And that's all for today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new here in my channel, please consider to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye-bye!